9th November 2009, the Meerkat Magic Valley, the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project, Otsur in Western Cape, South Africa. Since yesterday we've been having some lovely showers coming through. It's very, very overcast, bit of drizzle in patches on this valley. As you can see the curtains coming down. And unbelievably, between the patches of cloud and the setting sun, I've been very fortunate enough to manage to find the Ungulungu meerkats. They just popped up briefly whilst we had a little bit of sunlight. It's spitting down occasionally. The meerkats were being huddled up a moment ago. Now stretching out to get that bit of sunlight just before the big clouds come over. They've been going up and down with the drizzle. I've been standing out here getting absolutely soaked. But this is very odd weather for this time of the year. It's mainly a winter rainfall area. So to get rain this late in the year, November, is really quite bizarre. I'm very glad for it because it's got very dry recently. And it's excellent for all the meerkat babies. All four out of four babies from 25th of August litter are alive and well. Just amazing clouds over the great black mountain range to the north. Part of that world heritage site in South Africa. Just moving back as the meerkats are standing sunning their bellies. Must be amazing for them this bit of sunlight coming through the clouds after this heavy rain we've had since yesterday. Right throughout the day it's been raining. So they probably haven't had much more than a few minutes at a time to come out and look for food. Of course, if they get totally wet in the wild, meerkats can die of hypothermia. They have no hair underneath their feet, front paws, back paws, feet. And they've got very little hair on the ventral side or stomach side. And that's exactly why they're turning that towards the sunlight now. So that every last bit of that dark grey skin is exposed towards the sunlight just to warm themselves up a bit. And really... Imagine what it must be like for them now after being trapped inside their burrow for the last day and a half. Just a brief clip. Very glad to find them. I certainly didn't expect to find them. But with these breaks in the clouds, I took a chance. Been searching for the last couple of hours.